Hello and welcome to another episode of Poke Openings. This is the first one for 2021, I do believe. And we're kicking it off with a bit of a bang. I've got quite a uh, spread of different sets and stuff in front of us today. We've got some Champion's Path. We've got some Shining Fate. And we've got one of the V-Power tins. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start with the tin, I think, and we'll work into the rest of it. Now... It's been a while since I've opened some Pokemon cards, um, and I, I don't know, I've kind of dropped out of it a little bit in terms of buying stuff, but recently a friend of mine has uh, got quite into Pokemon cards. Shout out Tim, how are you doing? It's good to hear. Uh, so, it's kind of got me back into it as well, to be honest. So, uh, that is the front cover. Man, Galarian, Galarian Sloping, Slope, Sloking? Um, Slowbro. I completely blanked on the name, then is, uh, he's the co- ooh. Oh damn, oh, right, sorry. I thought this came in his sleeve for a second, unfortunately it does not. But I'm not going to take it off the cardboard, because it's there, but that is a nice looking card. I'm really liking the back as well, the, uh, like, uh, cardboard stuff they've started doing. Uh, right, ooh, and we have <coughs> the four packs. Now, this is the first cardboard tin I think I've opened, if that... That makes sense. It's not a tin made out of cardboard. It's a tin with cardboard inserts. Um, I don't usually go for tins, to be honest, because they do tend to be a little bit pricey. But I'm put that to the side. And we'll take a look at what we've got. We've got a Vivid Voltage. Ooh, another Vivid Voltage. You know, a Sword and Shield base set and a Breakpoint. Okay, then. Wow, oh, quite an interesting set of um, cards. Right, I'm going to lay them out uh, in a nice manner, BRB. Alright, so I've laid everything out. Um, we're just going to go left to right, if you believe, man. Breakpoint has it's been a while. Um, obviously, X and Y set. I'm guessing they've either got like overstock or maybe they've reprinted it. I don't know why they'd reprint one of the break sets, though. I don't think it was a particular fan favourite or anything. So I'm going to have to remember now it's... Uh, Three to the front and not four, which is a rookie mistake, so let's go ahead. I'd quite like to draw a break card, maybe? That would be nice. I do have two um, two sleeves to the side as well, just in case we pull something hype. All right, we begin with a pseudo wood uh, In straight... Oh, bay leaf! Hey, hello. Man, it's been ages since I've opened any break set, so it's actually really cool to uh, to see these cards again. Max Potion. Oh, a Pharaoh scene, very nice. Chill Froaky, just uh, chilling by the. <laughs> Regular pre sword and shield Corsola. Back when it still had life in it. We've got a Drowsy that is not having a good time. We've got a Petalil, just looking in the distance there. Oh, we've got a Fur Fro Reverse. I don't know why I got hyped about that, that's not really hype. Ah, now a rare is a Lilligant. Uh, no, okay, it's not all but it is very cute. Lilligant. I think Lilligant's one of my favourite Gen 5 Pokemon. Uh, very cute grass type. Right, on to the next one. Sword and Shield base set. Um, I'm trying to think of what... I think there's a few trainer cards here that are quite valuable, maybe. I don't know. I'm not opening this for value. I'm opening this for fun, which uh, is, is probably my biggest uh, bit of... Advice if you're investing in Pokemon cards, do it for fun, guys, because the bubble is going to pop at some point. Right, uh, without further ado, let's get into this. Fire Energy. Thwacky. Oh, Pokemon Cat. Yo, it's been a while since I've seen one of those. Okay, then. We've got a Drizzle. Uh, Dr Drizzle, sorry. We've got a Sinistee. Very cute. A Wooloo, even cuter. We've got a Shelder who is less cute, I suppose. We've got a Crow Gunk, very nice. A Silly Cobra, uh, very nice, I guess. Oh, Reverse Baltoy. Again, I don't know why I'm saying ooh. It's a reverse common, so it's it's not super hype. Ah, no, ooh, yo, our rare is a Graplock, so it's not hollow or anything, but Graplock is really cool. And the spider's colouring colouring is not a water type, which very much confused me when I played Sword and Shield the first time. So we have two vivid voltage. Now 
There's some pretty cool cards in this one. I think the Rainbow Rare Pikachu has been going for some quite a bit of money recently. Uh, and, you know, there's a few good full arts and stuff. I'd really like to pull... Um, I can never remember his name. The the UFO insect. Uh, or Beetle. Or Beetle VMAX would be a sick pull. Definitely... Uh, Definitely one I'm looking out for. So, we have Darkness Energy. We have a Moo 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 Cheese. Very nice. We've got a Duot. Very cool. We've got a Ferrothorn. Uh, kind of cool, I guess. We've got a very cute Wooper. Jesus Christ, look at him. He's just chilling out with his toys and stuff. Oh, Galarian Meowth. Uh, yeah, kind of cool. We've got a Courtney. An Arascuda, a Ninkada, a Reverse Yanma, uh, again, kind of kind of nice, I think it's a common though, and a Rare is a Barascuda to go with that Aracuda. Very nice, kind of. Um, not my favourite fish Pokemon, but, you know, what is? Actually, do you know, I don't know what, what my favourite fish Pokemon is. Um... Maybe, I suppose, Relicanth? Because it's just weird. Maybe that? I don't know. Right, our final Vivid Voltage pack. So this tin so far has been... Uh, is, is very average. Um, but, you know, it, it's, it, it could all change. This could be the pull, boys. Are we ready for this? I hope we are. And we begin with a Water Energy. Alright, we have a Macargo. Ooh, nice. A League Staff. Very cool. We've got a Crocorock. A Slugma. We've got a Wishma. A Execute. An Execute? Yeah, I guess an Un Execute, isn't it? A Woobat staring at the sky. Hey, we've got a Beldum. Very cute. Beldum's eye looks like a lot like the Digimon eye, right? You know, like the Digimon eye. I mean, the one Agumon's got, but you see a lot. Maybe it's just me. Ooh, I will reverse. Damn, I'm going through these packs really quick today for some reason. We've got a Cramorant with a Barracuda. No, Arascuda. Barascuda? I can't remember. In its mouth. And we end on another non hollow rare. But it is an execute, and look at that artwork. Didn't look like it was focusing there. Very nice. Very cute, though. Um, well, there we are. That V Power tin was, uh, you know, it was certainly a tin. Uh, right, cool. I'm going to go move things to the side now and we move on to something slightly hyper. So, BRB. All right, I am back and it's time to walk down the champion's path with a Spike Muth Gym Pack, which comes with a pin and set. We'll take a quick look at the back because obviously this is themed after Piers. Enter the Spike Muth. Enter the Spike Muth Gym and meet Piers. And um, it's got some text and so if you want to pause it, it's kind of cool. It just says about how the Spike Muth Gym is all dark and stuff, um, both literally and physically. I realise there's actually some tape on the side. Right, okay, BRB. I was wrong, there was no tape on the side, it was just the bottom, which kind of opened up in the really awkward thing. Or technically the top, but I want to keep the top. So. Let's slide it out. Oh, or not. Hang on. There we go. Right, sorry about that. Alright, so we will have a quick look. So we've got the, it is a promo card, I believe. There we go, I've adjusted the angle and stuff. So yeah, this is uh, Galarian Obstagoon. I really like that art. It's very dynamic and stuff. And that's the promo code there if anyone wants to have a look. And, of course, we have the gym badge from Spike Muth, and technically the Team Yell logo as well, I think. Um, I could be wrong. Yeah, it is It is Team Yell, right? But yeah, nice uh, enamel thing. It's got Pokemon written on the back there. I shall be adding that to my pin collection, and I may at some point actually buy the other ones. I've quite like a full set of Gala um, gym badges, but... I know, that is kind of expensive. Um, and of course we have a code card, which I won't be showing you guys, because I'll be giving it to a friend. Um, right, let me go move stuff in the back and I'll be obby. All right, so I've got the three Champions Path packs here. So we've got two Gardevoir and one Obstagoon. So I'm going to go from left to right, as we did with the last few. 
Uh, now, I've not opened many Champions Path packs. I I want to say you're maybe guaranteed a hollow in each one, but I may be thinking of Hidden Fates, and I think Champions Path isn't that way. Um, could be wrong, though, but I don't know, so don't quote me on that. It is four to the front, though. I'm pretty sure. Hopefully it's... An hey, it is an energy. Good. All right, then. Yay! We've got peers to go with the, 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 the gym. You, you guys know. We've got a Lollipod. Oh, we've got a Kabu. Very cool. I did genuinely struggle in Kabu when I first played Sword and Shield. We've got a Purloin. A Full Heal. We've got a Galarian Linoon. Very nice. To go with the Pro Mobs to go in. Ah! Got a very cute Vulpix there. Fair play. We've got a Rockruff. Very cute again. I, I kind of forget about Rockruff. I'm not going to lie. Um, we, ooh, we've got a Beedrill, which may be an uncommon or a rare. I can't see from here. But it's a reverse. It's got the green, like, grass energy stuff. I really like. And a rare. Ooh, okay, it's a, it's a hollow. It's a Lichen Rock to go with that Rockruff, which the Pokemon I mentioned that I often forget about. Well, hey, look, we've got our first hollow of the video. That's something, right? R right? Uh, kind of something. Uh, right, well, let's move on to this next one. It is Galarian Obstagoon, which I've brought this up many times, I know, but still kind of bugs me. There's no such thing as a non-Galarian Obstagoon. It's, it, it, it has to be Galarian to be an Obstagoon, I think. No? I don't know. Uh, okay, let's just decimate these packs then. Oh, I pulled the first and last card out. Thankfully, the last card was the code card. So, um... That was four, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Electric energy. No, dark again. Yo, okay, two dark... You had a lot of dark energies recently. Is this a sign? I don't know if it's a sign of, but... You know, we've got a Pokemon Central Lady. Very cute. A Great Ball. A Absol. An Absol, sorry. We've got a Roly Coley. Very nice. Another Full Heal. Deja Vu. Oh, we've got a Potion. Damn, a lot of, a lot of trainers in this one. That Vulpix again. We're going to get Rock Ruff. <laughs> okay, good. Are we going to get a Reverse Hollow Beedrill? Oh, no. A Reverse Hollow... Yeah, it is reverse. Sorry, for some reason it wasn't showing up very reverse -y, if that makes sense. Hey, so Marnie is a hollow, I do believe. I'd call it to pull a hollow Marnie. I think there's a Team Rocket in this set as well, as hollow. Could be wrong. Ah, now a rare is a hollow Altaria. So I think they are all hollows in Champion's Path, maybe. So, you know, decent, decent odds, I guess, so far is how you describe it. So, we've got our last Gardevoir pack. What what treasures will this hold for us? Will we pull that secret rare Charizard VMAX uh, that everyone is after? Uh, I, th I think, let's go with the, with the luck we've had so far. Um, I'm going to say no. I think it's going to be another hollow, but man, this pack does no one to open. All right. Code card to the side, four to the front. Will it be dark energy again? Wow, I don't know what the chances of that are, but I've I've pulled it apparently. Okay then. Well, um, interesting. We begin with a Milo, a Rotom phone, ring 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 Rotom phone. Team Yalgrunt. We have a Linoon again. Oh, Weedle, that's that's definitely a new Pokemon. I've not seen that card. Oh, I've not seen this Ekins. Is this is it, does this mean anything? No, not really, no. We've got a Carvana. A pocket monster ball. Oh, our reverse is a Professor's Research. Uh very nice. And our rare hollow. I was wrong! Yo! Is a Galarian Cursal V! Very cute. I mean, kind of cute. Also, it's very sad, isn't it? So, you know, I mean, it it depends. But, hey, there we go. That's a pretty good pull. I like that. That's a, uh, yeah, look at that. That's very cute. I love, I love Cursula. Um, 
Although, again, a nitpick, you can't get a non-Galarian Cursula, so, you know. Right, well, wow, that's just very weird, seeing all the energies there. That was a, um... That that was a that was a decent pull, I suppose, and I got the pin. The pin I was really hyped for, to be honest. Um, right, I'm gonna do another jump cut now to the three shining fates. It is is it shining fates? I can't remember. But the three tins that everyone's been waiting for. Well, I I hope so. Anyway, um, so yeah, be me. Okay, I'm back with the goods. So we have three mini tins from Shining Fates, as we can see there. So. I'm not going to read you out the back or whatever, um, I'm just going to crack into it. So, these are always very well packed in plastic, and as with the last ones, we're going to go from left to right again. So yeah, um, Shining Fates I have not opened. Uh, in fact, good luck if you did manage to get any Shining Fates stuff, because I only bought this because of a tip-off from, uh, from a friend, basically, that they were in stock. If I wanted any, I should either buy them now, or forever hold my peace. So, let's get everything out of the tin first. Sorry about that. Okay, let's put that back on there for now. So, we get, uh, we get a few things. So, first off, we get... Oh, okay. A Manaphy tin. A uh, man... Okay, sorry. A Manaphy coin. I thought it was for the Manaphy tin there. But, um, no, I was wrong. Uh, but yeah, very cute. I don't have a Manaphy coin, so that's something. And we also get a uh, breakdown of what Celebi is. Pause the video if you know, read that. And that is... Oh, okay. So that's interesting. So last time I bought some tins, the art actually, like, went to the full borders. But this is literally a print of the artwork of the tin. Interesting, I suppose. I kind of see what they're doing, but what? Okay. Yeah, not as crazy on that, to be honest. Um, but whatever, it's, it's, not, it's not the worst thing. So, let's have a look at the packs, because I've not actually seen them. We've got a... Uh, uh, we've got a... We've got a shiny Colvinite and a shiny Toxtricity. Sorry, I, I had to kind of look at them off, uh, off camera, because... Couldn't quite tell, but this is shiny, I think, because it kind of looks grey instead of black, but it's it's slightly subtle. Now, I'm assuming the Shining Fate is a bit like Hidden Fate, in that um, every card is ho guaranteed a hollow, maybe? No? Or maybe they're not, but there's a chance of, um, of getting a Shiny Vault card, right? Maybe? I... Don't know, I could be wrong. Um, anyway, let's put that there. Let's get on with it. So, we have a Psychic Energy. Ooh, we have Rotom in a library. Very cute. We have a Rusted Shield. Not sure what that's... Oh! Oh, yeah, sorry. I didn't even see the dog there. Yeah, sorry, that's... Um, that's the, like, the thing you pick up in the game, isn't it? We've got a Tropius, so I will be going a bit slower with these because I've never opened Shining uh, Sh Shining Fates packs. We've got a Snom. Ha <laughs> ha! We've got a Trap Inch in like the snow desert. We've got a Rowlet. A Buizel chilling at the beach. Very nice. Uh, we've got a Spinarak. So next up may be where we'd get the Shining Vault. Cards, if it's in the pack, maybe. That's what it was like with Hidden Fates, anyway. No, okay. We do not have a Shining Vault card, but we do have a very cute Gossip Flow. Oh, it's, it's very pleased to see you. And our rare. Ooh, yo. Is it Galarian um, Wheezing? I really like that. That's pretty cool, yo. Okay, wait, is there something in the background? So that looks like it's... An, I, I don't know. I, I can't quite tell if that's meant to be like a Pokemon peeking through with its red glowing eyes or if it's just part of the scenery. Um, but yeah, okay, that, that was pretty cool. So maybe you are guaranteed a hollow. And I don't think I have a Galarian Weezing card, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I, I do like Galarian Weezing. It's... Oh, I was about to say, it is a fairy type, so why isn't it a fairy card? But then I realised fairy's illegal now. 
there are no fairy cards anymore so you know uh, right well let's begin our second Shining Fates pack it is fire will this pack be fire Dartrix is pretty fire I like Dartrix Floatzel is, is kind of fire ooh yo rusted sword okay that's pretty cool Oh, that's really adorable. Holy shit. That's a very cute horsey there. We've got a very cute Nicket, kind of. I'm, I'm not that big on Nicket. <laughs> Is that Eevee swimming? Okay. Sign of evolution. That's a pretty standard Eevee uh, thing now. Which I'm happy to see. Oh, we've got a Tootle carrying a... No eating. I, I'm not fully sure what's going on there, to be honest. We've got a Cacnea just looking off into the sun like a boss. Kids still say that, like a boss? Yeah, that's pretty new. Oh, and next card is a Reverse Tropius. I think we pulled Tropius in the last pack, I want to say. Very cool. It's got a bit of a sun gleam there. And a oh, Rare. Okay, it's a non-hollow Yan Mega. So pulling a hollow is pretty good in these packs then. That's, that's pretty cool. There we go. All right then. Well, it's it's not been a um, it's not been a wild two pack so far. But hey, you know it's it's not been the worst. I'm gonna put these to the side, so be on me. All right. Next up is well, uh, I was supposed to say Waylord, and I don't know why. It is Kyogre. So also with a shiny Snom on the front. I do believe. Sorry, I forgot to point out as well. The Celebi one obviously has a shiny Zarud chilling in the background. Um, so I only went for three of these because um, I wasn't convinced I'd get three different patterns anyway of the tins, if that makes sense. So otherwise I'd have maybe gone for all five, but I don't know. Uh, you know, I, I may do that in future. Hey, so these are in the correct order. So we've got Kyogre. Again, pause if you want to read that. And that's the, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm not fully digging this design, to be honest. Oh, we have a blue... Wait, hang on. No, never mind. It was just how it was in the light. They're both kind of rainbow colour. They're not blue. And we have our two packs. Uh, ee, there we are. That came out a lot easier this time. Right, so this time we have the same pack designs. Uh, let's see if we can open them slightly better this time. Keep saying we. I think that's just a habit of YouTube now, but uh, it, it is just me. But you know, you're on the journey with me and I appreciate everyone watching this. How was your day? Tell me in the comments. No, oh, oh don't. Just just talk it to the screen. I'll know. I won't be able to tell you I know. I'll know. Right. First up is a water energy. Ooh, we've got a rusted shield again. Ooh, Team Yell um, Towel. A, a towel, okay. I'll always carry a towel with you. Oh yeah, boy! It's ball guy. All right. Next up. Oh no, sorry, focus. Sorry. Uh, is Cacnea, horsey, giving you a kiss again? Evie going for a swim again. Tootle biting a uh, uh, corn, a stem of corn. Yo, we've got more Peko. That's adorable. Ah, oh, with a picky pet. No. uh... Not a picky pet. I can't remember what that Pokemon's called. And a shuckle. Very cute. It's going for that food because if it doesn't get that food, it's going to get hang hungry. We, we, oh, oh, okay then. Okay, it's sleeve time. It is sleeve time. We have pulled a brilliant rare card. So this has like a texture to it, and like the colours are expanding from the borders. Oh, right, okay. Um, uh, we, we'll pull the next card and, like, whatever the rare is, and then I'll go and sleeve this. But, like, god damn. Okay, I've never seen one of these IRL, and they are really cool. Okay, cool. Ah, now a rare is a Zarud. It's not, it's not like, shiny or anything. Kind of cool, though. Hey, Zarud, you're a, you're a nice monkey boy. Right, cool. Gonna go, gonna go sleeve that very quickly. BRB. All right, sorry, I got it wrong. It wasn't a brilliant rare, it's an amazing rare, as you can see with the E there. So, wow, that is... Uh... Damn, it, it's hard to fully get this on camera, I think. 
That is a damn good pull though, holy crap. Don't think we're going to follow that up, but we'll try. Uh, right. I... Wow. I mean, I, I'd like to pull a shiny vault card. I don't even know if there are shiny vault cards in this. Um, I didn't do any research because I wanted to open this blind. So... Uh... I don't know, maybe I'm kind of hoping to pull cards that aren't even in the set. But it would be cool if there's shiny vault cards. If not, I'd like to pull a V maybe, but I've pulled an amazing rare now. So I'm not exactly off to a bad start. I'm guessing you're guaranteed to pull either a rusted sword or shield then, because it's been four packs now and it's been in like the first proper slot. Or the first uncommon slot. You know what I mean. Uh sorry, we've got Bees Weasel, Rotom. We've got a Trap Inch. We've got a Snom. Ah, that Gossifler that we pulled a reverse of. That Cacnea. Ooh, we've got a Coughing. That's really cute, actually. That's a genuinely very cute Coughing. Very nice. Uh, you're kidding me. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Sorry, right. It's not an amazing rare. Sorry, it's a Shiny Vault card. It's a Dragapult. What a difference in tins! Like, the last one, I pulled a hollow and I was fairly pleased with it. Um, wow! So this is a shiny Dragapult then, from the Shiny Vault set. Let me just go and double check. Don't know how well this is coming out on camera, but it does say SV and it's got like a... a shiny star next to it. Wow! So... <laughs> wow, this is... what? <laughs> what a pack! God damn! Right, and... Our rare is Professor's Research, which is even more hype. I'm sure everyone's uh, poggers in chat and everything. Thank, thank you, Professor. Very nice. Well, damn. Uh, yeah, I'm, I must leave that as well. BRB, what a change in luck. Uh, that is... Well, right, I'm, I'm going to move into the side. We'll gush about it at the end of the video. BRB, kind of wish I'd kept Kyogre till the end now. Uh, right. So, we've got our third and final Shining, uh, sh shining Fates uh, tin. My god, this one is not... There we go. That one was not opening. Uh, well, god damn. All right, then. So, I'd completely forgot about Amazing Res as well. I, for some reason, thought they were in some other set. This has been the worst tin to open so far. We have a Rainbow Manaphy. Very nice. We have a card of Manaphy. Again, pause to have a look. And that is the reverse side. Uh, what Pokemon is with Manaphy? It's Inteleon in the background. Showing the Intel Inteleon, obviously. And, of course, we have our two packs. Now, if I could pull another Shiny Vault card, that would be amazing. Um, if I could pull an amazing rare, that would definitely be amazing. But I'm not holding out any hope. So we genuinely have the th same... Like, I'm sure there are two other pack designs, right? They, they can't have made just two pack designs. Maybe, like, you're guaranteed to get the same packs, as in, like, pack art in each tin. Which is a weird little thing to do, but I suppose makes sense, in a way, as well. Uh, wow. I don't know why this tin has been the most awkward to open, but, like... Okay, that, that wasn't too bad. So, let's put four to the front. Right there. And let's begin now. A final um, packs on like tin and stuff for this video. With fire energy. Yeah, okay. Rusted sword. Uh, I've lost track of which one I've pulled more of now. We have a Rotom. Ooh, a Thwacky. That's cool. Okay. I really like Thwacky. He's, he's, he's a cute drummy boy. We've got that Gossifleur again, the Swimming Eevee again, the Morpeko, not really sharing his food, let's be honest. We've got a Yanma, which I think we pulled a reverse of, didn't we? We've got Shootle. Our reverse is Snom, very cute. Not hollow, but I'll, I'll still take it, because Snom is a cute. Uh, oh, there we are, and we have a Manaphy to pull from the Manaphy tin. It's not hollow or anything, but... It is very cute. You know, I don't think I have many Manaphy cards. Well, maybe I do, and I've just forgotten them. He's not my favourite legendary, but I don't dislike him either. Uh, right, let's 
open up our final Shining Fates pack. Uh, this has been quite a journey. It started off, um, I'd say, below average. Uh, but, you know, it's worked up. I think I've had a pretty decent run of luck. So, can we end it on something hype? It's going to be a rare. It's just going to be a regular... It's going to be a double of a rare I've already pulled. I'm calling it now. Ooh, Fighting NG. That's the first time we've seen that, though. Yay! And we start with... Wait, we don't have a Rusted card. Yo, hang on, we don't have... It's got to be the third slot. Shoot. We don't have a Rusted card. What's going on? Okay. Is this a change in luck? Change in bad luck. Uh, right, we've got... Ooh, I haven't seen that Shinx either. That's pretty cool. Oh, we got a mischievous looking coughing. He 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 he. Oh. <laughs> um, as a more. I, I imagine if Peter Griffin was a Pokemon, he'd be a coughing. Maybe, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. What would Peter Griffin be as a Pokemon? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've got to stop asking stuff like that. We got a Buizel. We've got a Trap Inch. So, roll out. After this, is there a last chance for a Shiny Vault card? No. Okay, no, it is not. Uh, but we do have a reverse ball guy, which is pretty hype, to be fair. Yeah, just look at that. Right, and our rare is... Ooh, oh, yo, it's a hollow Lux Ray. Okay, I'm not so mad. I'm, I'm, I'm not disappointed, really, with that. that. Yo, look at that artwork, man. That's cool. I love the, like, god rays as well of the hollow design, if that makes sense. The, like, it's coming down from the heavens. Very nice. Right. Well, there we go. Um, give me a sec. I'll be RB and we'll wrap up this video. All right. So that about wraps up the video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, just before we leave, I thought I'd pull out the three uh, best hits of the video, I think. So we did get this from Champion's Path, the uh, Galarian Curse of V. Very cute. I, uh, I I really like the V cards and stuff, the uh, hollow design and everything and i don't have a cursor card so very very nice definitely happy to pull that the second best probably is the shiny vault dragapult uh which is pretty darn nice i didn't know what it looked like shiny so that's pretty cool and uh, these cards are really nice anyway like shiny vault is um mwah. but of course the mvp of this video is the amazing rare kyogre Damn, boy, just look at that. Trying to get, like, a good angle on it. I, I can't really. Basically, it looks like someone's poured glitter all around the lines and stuff. Ah, oh, it's just, it's so nice. I really like this. I'm going to throw this in a binder really damn fast because I don't want this warping. Um, But right, well, thank you very much for watching. As always, I shall be making more Pokemon videos in the future along with other stuff and some podcasts, so keep an eye out for that. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So until next time, goodbye.